And now back to Ken Calvert. You hungry? Yeah. Come on in here. We, uh, we have some pizza. I'm on my way. Sneak. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll talk live here in just a second. It's uh, Superstation 760 WJR. Ken Calvert around until 3 o'clock. Dr. Laura at 3. And I do believe that Dr. Laura is my guest tomorrow on this uh, fine little program. And here comes Danny Mills now. I know. We're waiting on you. And uh, my guest alongside of Art Volo is here, of course, just taking photos. And we'll allow that. They're letting him eat pizza as well. He claims that we've gypped him out of some airtime. So <laughs> Dana Mills is now in the studio, Studio D with us. And let's say hi to Inga from uh, Pizza Hut. Hi. And we gave you the news just about 15 minutes ago. Former Detroit radio personality and Pistons PA announcer Ken Calvert passing away at the age of 72. Joining us now is radio historian and radio's best friend, Art Volo. Thank you for coming on to WWJ tonight. Well, 72. I thought he was 72 or 73, and I thought, Ryan, if he was 73, it was going to spook me. Because I don't know if you even realize this, but in amateur radio terms, 73 means goodbye. Oh. Signing off. You Ooh, you that, were actually there. Uh, and, and you recognized that 10 years ago to the date was Ken Calvert's retirement, which you were at, and you uh, were able to witness. I was in the studio. Yeah. Uh, yes, I was. Uh, I, I videotaped his swan song. And, in fact, uh, a guy who was in my gym class in high school, Bob Seeger, was also in the studio <laughs> that day. And it was a wonderful celebration. And it was exactly 10 years to the day. Wow. Uh, what do we actually retired? Uh, what a legendary radio personality. What do we need to know about Ken Kelly? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, he was he was. He was one of the nice guys, never full of himself. And and the thing I'll tell you, the story I remember the most was he was he he started uh, out of all stations WJR, your arch rival, and uh, it was when Paul W. Smith began from uh, taking over for J.P. McCarthy uh, in the Fisher Building, and he took over for Jimmy Launce, a longtime personality from a place where you once worked, Fort Wayne. And uh, Jimmy Launce, they let him go and put Ken Calvert in, and all the phone lines were ringing. And Ken says, you see all these lines that are lit up? Do you think they're saying, welcome, Kenny? <laughs> no, they're saying, where's Jimmy? And, and I'll never forget that because it's tough when you replace somebody uh, that's legendary that didn't die but just was let go. And then you have to come in, and they're saying, where's our buddy Jimmy Launce? So I remember that specifically, and I did video of him that day as well. I have a large collection of video of people all around the country. And so it was fun to be able to get his last show. He was also the guy that a lot of people will remember, uh, just like Bob Buford came up with Michigan, while it was uh, Ken Calvert that came up with Joe Dumars. You know, he used to yell out the Pistons player uh, in a way that everybody was imitating him everywhere. Uh, Ken was just the best. He really was. Three yeah. different stations uh, besides WJR that I can think of, WLLZ, the original Detroit's Wheels, a long stretch at WRIS, and also at um, WCSX, the classic rock station. So he had quite a career here in Motown, and uh, I think he lived in Birmingham and was just a great, great guy. One of the greats in Detroit radio history, Ken Calvert, passing yeah. away today at the age of 72. Radio historian Art Volo, thank you so much for coming on, remembering him tonight on WWJ. Hey, glad to be able to do it. You're the best. God bless. That is Art Volo, radio's best friend.